Welcome to Yosemite National Park. This is El Capitan. This is Half Dome. And in between is the majestic Yosemite Valley. It's just a tip. If you get here early in the morning, don't go to the Vernal Falls. That seems to be where the mass crowd is. We ran into a huge traffic jam there and it was pretty strenuous up and down. So we came over to Mirror Lake. It's flat and only about a mile and uh, we're the only people on the trail. It's quite peaceful. <laughs> So this is El Capitan behind me where they filmed the movie Free Solo. There are tons of hikers, climbers, back there climbing behind me. <laughs> We're just hanging out in Columbia State Park, just outside of Yosemite. It's really cold and windy up there today, so we came out to see what else we could find to do outside of the park. This is a uh, 1800s gold mining town, and they've preserved all of the buildings and then made it a state park in the 40s, so we're just checking it out. So it rained on us yesterday and we went out to Columbia to the state park to see some of the gold mining town. What we didn't know is that Glacier Point Road was being snowed over and they're currently plowing it this morning and we can't get in. Hopefully we can get in tonight. So today we're going to go try what we think is called Tulumini Grove Trail. Tulumini. Yeah. Tulumini? I don't know. It's supposed to have some giant sequoias on it. Uh, I don't know if they're going to be quite as impressive as the ones at Sequoia National Park, but we're going to go give it a look-see anyways. This carving in this stuff, I just can't get it. Why do, why do people do that? Sequoia 
that's fallen down forever ago. You can see it starts down there and it goes all the way up there. And we learned earlier that these can lay here just like this for hundreds and hundreds of years and never really deteriorate, providing all sorts of habitat for the forest animals and people. So this tree here is a giant sequoia, but it's only a couple hundred years old, not 1500 years old. So still one of the biggest trees I've ever seen before I came out here.